Good morning, Saturday morning. It is, well, this is not Saturday morning anymore. It's 1.18. But we're gonna go through the makeup because last video, last vlog, I like really waited till the end. I like starting the vlogs with the makeup because it's like a good, whatever, way to like get started. So, foundation. Today I mixed a little bit of this, the Tom Ford Faceless Perfecting and some of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is what I have on the face today to kind of create this look. The sun is, it is, Yesterday it was really hot like it felt like the sun was like burning your skin almost I use the YSL neutralizer I just don't have it to show you I don't think and then I use the Giorgio Armani Maestro Eraser number four on the under eyes My hair is looking cute today. You know what I did actually I didn't do anything different, but I used the Oribe uh, Anti-humidity or impermeable humidity spray and I feel like it's like kind of setting the hair like nicely I'm usually not a big hairspray or hair styling product person, but I really kind of like how this is holding. Let's see how long it holds. Like I just finished it. So <laughs> there you go. Um, set the makeup with the La Prairie in number two, and then the Ulta Banana pressed under the, under the bronzer, which we went a little, a little crazy with the bronzer today, but I think it looks good. I actually forgot to apply this on the under under the brow, so I'm gonna go do that if you remember. Let's leave that out. I use the Pixie by Petra Sculpting or Multi Balm Sheer Sculpt to kind of work into like I only put it like right here. Sometimes I go and I put it here and everywhere, but I just put a little bit on either side. And then I use the Lorac Take Me to Tantigo palette. There, this one right here, Cabo Tan Lucas, and that's kind of like a shimmery gold suspended inside like a bronzer so it's very similar to mac trace gold which i showed you guys last week i've just been kind of feeling those shades on the lids i use the these are dark mattes i pretty much used this area right here <laughs> so like the reds the purples oh i use this color too on the lower lash line So there's kind of like a closer view of what the eye looks like. I have like even out the, the lighting on the either side of the eye. I didn't do too much on the lower lash line today. And I also tight lined with MAC Costa Riche instead of like a dark black. So everything's looking a little lighter today. I usually have like the top line looks very, very dark, but it felt like, I don't know, it felt like going lighter today. It's always a good sign. Whenever I wear really, really dark eye makeup, that's... Probably not a good thing. So, still balancing the Sephora Long Lasting Eyeliner with the Balm Schwing Liner to do like a matte eyeliner wing. And that's been working out pretty good. I, but I started it with the Tom Ford. Because in the last video I explained to you how like, I just don't like that the, their, the matte liners are in inkwells. So I tend to need to go in with like a regular brush tip liquid liner first before I can go in with the matte liner. And then for lips today, we have MAC Strip Down. Do they have a MAC Strip Down lipstick? Because I want this shade. I love this shade so much. I want the lipstick. I want a lip gloss. I want I want this in like a cream blush. I just love the shade of this. If they would come out with like a curated collection. I know they did it before where they like went through and um, I'm like not making any eye contact. I'm so sorry. I'm like kind of like tired. Excuse me. Um, I know they did a collection where they like did a whole bunch of different lip products, like very, very cult. Oh my god, I can't even speak. Proper, like, <sighs> they did a collection centered around a lot of their most popular lip product colors. And I know they did like a gloss, a lipstick, and a lip liner, or something like that. But I want them to do it with strip down. And if they did do it, I missed it, I need it to come back. So after I applied strip down all over the lips, I took the NARS Florally's Satin Lip Pencil. And this is like a very like glossy lip pencil and I just like rubbed it on my finger and I tapped it all over my entire lip. And that's how we got this super pretty nude, very 60s lip. I think it looks a little cooler on camera right now, but when I look at it, it's, it's kind of got that fun 60s vibe lip. So I really love this color. And I love this lip liner. I love Strip Down. So, ooh, I have to go. Today, uh, my brother wants to get sunglasses and he wants to get 
regular glasses, like new frames. My mom is going to a wedding. She needs purses, so I have to take... Can you see them on the couch? No, maybe not. I have a whole bunch of purses that I have to like, take to her to figure out which one will go best with her outfit. And this evening, maybe there's a plan. Maybe there isn't a plan. I have not decided yet. I just don't... I don't care about... I just... Oof, like, I just don't care. Anyway, um, let's go. All right. This is a little better lighting, yeah, to see the makeup. That's if sitting in front of the window is like, um, I think it shows certain things better. But this, I think, does a better job of like showing off the complexion products. Don't we think so? Also, the lip color, I think, is more like that more peachy color I was talking about. It's still kind of brown, but more peachy. When I asked you guys about uh, vlogs or beauty videos, not that I would probably, not that I would discontinue doing either of them. I just really want your opinion on like what it was about I, each one that you know was interesting to you and what you didn't like about them and some one of the comments was like i don't watch your vlogs because it's just a lot of you in the car um but i appreciate the effort you put in your videos and i'm not like calling this person out or anything i just I mean she's right <laughs> i there's a lot of car stuff but um i feel like maybe in the more recent couple months the videos have been more me including other people or me showing you different facets of just like you know because but I mean at the end of the day here's the thing I'm not gonna film when I'm at work I'm not gonna film when I'm with my parents I'm not gonna film when I go on dates <laughs> so uh, you're kind of limited to like what I'm doing when I'm at home and what I'm do or where I could just take you places with me but I can't necessarily t you know experience those things on camera I feel like I don't have to give this explanation but sometimes it's just like Different people have different kinds of lives. I don't have a very like YouTube event filled life. So it's more like basic regular girl life. <laughs> so we just have to make do. Sorry guys. Um, I feel so like dragged, like I feel like I'm dragging today. I think it's, I just haven't been sleeping good again. This whole summer has just been like, this inability to get proper sleep and I just feel like ugh. do you guys hear that oh someone in my last video asked if I self tan no any kind of tan I get is purely from laying in the Sun I do not I I've self tan once in my entire life, like last year, and I used the Josie Marin oil stuff, and that stuff was really, really good, and it faded really evenly, because that was just, like, that's another reason why I've never done it, is, like, I hate the way it looks on people who have fake tan, and you can see it, and or when it starts to fade, or the idea of having to, like, prep your body to fake tan is also exhausting to me. Like, I can't imagine doing what I was doing for that one time, like, every couple weeks or every week, however, however often people fake tan, I don't know if I could do that. Sunday. Today's all like Chinese family day, so we're gonna go for dim sum and um, dim sum and grocery. I need to get okay. So I already got some coconut juice from Costco a couple days ago. The Zico, which is like the best stuff. It's twenty bucks for like a case of nine. They were doing it for fifteen ninety nine, which is awesome, but uh, it's still kind of expensive to me. So. Uh, I wanted to um, get some from the Chinese grocery and I also need to get my white coffee as well as my I want to get that guava tea you see that thing on Instagram where it was like if you just like brew some guava tea and you spray that on your hair every night or at, on your scalp so I'm about that anything that's like not gonna be stinky do you guys see those packages that's like it's like 12 packages Ooh, music oh my god okay so these all came in over the weekend thank you guys for ordering but sometimes you know how like when people have like I should drive otherwise I'm gonna be late for work um you know when people complain about packages like not being shipped out properly like I'm not talking about like someone like me I'm talking about like if someone um, has a business and I really like my makeup today. The Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation needs to be applied with your fingers. I have found that beauty blender, brush, whatever, they all work okay, but pressing it in with your fingers makes it look, ooh, eyebrows, makes it look flawless. Like a gel 
that is skin like is being kind of like just it's like airbrushed with your fingers anyway I don't have a lip on today uh, yeah I totally understand why it takes a while to get orders out it's not like I haven't had like a whole bunch of orders before but like these were like larger orders so the time it takes for me to go into the computer to the site and look at and see the order and then go to PayPal and then look at the <laughs> final price and then gather the products from like inventory or whatever and then bubble wrap each one weigh it and then get a label correct it's just like so much work not so much work a lot of work I got distracted because of my neighbor but um there's like maybe 12 or 13 packages there it took me a good like two and a half hours to get them done like perfectly and just to double check I wasn't missing anything um for people who order lip products I try to include like an alcohol pad just I mean I disinfect everything but and I try to wipe it down as good as I can obviously if you get it and there's like random powder I can't control that you know in shipping but <laughs> it's just like it takes I was just like my morning was gone by the time I looked up I get to work at about like 8 30 by the time I was done it was almost like 11 and I was like holy crap it was maybe like 10 36 or something I'm gonna really try to get all the lip products up and like I don't know if I can get all the brushes up and then the other goal is to get sunglasses and jewelry up on the website also and then last week you guys have shared a lot of options for me to do in terms of clothing and shoes and purses and I think I'm gonna try a whole bunch maybe I'll put some stuff like on Mercari and some stuff on, although Mercari doesn't sound very like just from what you guys said because you guys gave so I'm sorry I just spewed everywhere you guys gave so much feedback I love you thank you so much but and Poshmark seems like an option um, although I really should just try if I'm gonna put it up on there and I'm gonna take pictures and do stuff I might as well just put it on my blog sale right but obviously my blog sale isn't gonna get the kind of traffic that you know like those kind of sites would so we'll see hey guys so it's Thursday I just want to share some makeup with you guys I don't know maybe I'll film like a new makeup video like not like new like new releases type makeup so I did some shopping because I had a 20% off code from sax you guys are always asking how to get like uh, a sax code or how to get Tom Ford or something on sale is to sign up for if you sign up for their emails you get 10% off emails that you might get sent to you every so often if you have a card 20% off is pretty common I would say I get at least four or five a year I bought the Tom Ford traceless perfecting foundation in shade 4 in bisque I used five in the summer uh, the first time I bought and I typically if you watch this channel I typically don't buy a summer foundation because summer is only like three four months tops here so it's a waste to buy a foundation for those months but last year I have bought the Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation in five. It was like right, maybe like May ish. It was like right before summer was gonna start. So it's like if I'm gonna buy this foundation, I might as well get it in like a darker shade. So I got five and I've been just using it so much and I love it so much. I have it on today. This is shade five on right now. Between a brush and a beauty blender, I'm like, those are okay. The best way to apply it is with your hands. Like when you just like dot it around your face and just like really blend it into your skin, it looks so Pretty, yeah? Do you guys think so? I love it. So I got shade four. Then, I am just not a stick foundation person, right? I was like hoping maybe Tom Ford could fix that situation for me. Like I really want to like stick foundations because I think they're easy and I think the right formula could look really beautiful on the skin. The only issue is I find that most of them don't last or they go on dry. So I didn't like the Makeup Forever one very much. I mean, I liked it, but it felt like it was humid on my skin when I wore it and I had tried the hourglass one and I didn't really like that one felt like it was kind of dry it's so I'm like seeing so many amazing reviews on that one and I'm just like I don't I don't understand so this is the Tom Ford one I also got shade bisque here but bisque in this is 5.5 and bisque in this is 4 so we'll see how that goes these are both my winter shades or like my my shade like an NC25 ish then I picked up <laughs> the La Prairie 
the Skin Caviar Concealer and Foundation. This is too light for me right now, obviously. I have the shade Honey Beige. You have the foundation on the bottom with a little spatula, and you have a concealer, cream concealer. I put this on just for fun. Now, I have used a lot of good foundations where I'm like, I'm just gonna stick with this for a while. I've never had this inclination to want to get rid of all of my foundations. And this, this foundation really makes me want to do that. It goes on and feels like nothing on the skin. Oh, can you guys hear that? What? There is constantly lawn mowing happening here. I don't understand. Any given time of the day in the summer. I mean, at least my HOA fees are going somewhere, but seriously. Uh, I have nothing. I'm just like, it's so beautiful. You need it. It's so thin and like weightless, but it gives you really beautiful coverage. I mean, I don't, it's not full coverage by any means, but like, oh my God, I love it so much. It has SPF 15 and I use the concealer on the under eyes and I usually like to use liquids. Still really beautiful. Now that's my skin in this environment, this kind of weather. We'll see what happens in winter. I'm pretty sure the foundation, this is a foundation that I have no problem moving up into my eye area. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause if you, again, if you watch the channel a lot, I only put foundation on my face. I completely skip the under eye area. Any place where a corrector or a concealer is gonna go here, there is no foundation there because I'm not trying to add another layer. This, this I have no problem moving up into the eye area. <laughs> So the remainder of the Space and Case sale, I was like, okay, what do I get? Because I had like another $10 note that I had earned and it was still $20 off uh, $100. So I picked up something as a gift and I also got the Chantecaille Radiance Gel Bronzer. This is lovely. Get a little, because you know, you saw Liquid Summer, the Giorgio Armani Maestro, nah. The Giorgio Armani Liquid Summer in the last video, which I was like mixing in with foundations so I could use my winter foundations. Also, I was using it as a bronzer. So I was like, okay, let's get this gel bronzer because I had swatched this at like a Nordstrom counter, I think, and I really liked it. You get this a little bit on your hand, get a little wet beauty blender. So pretty, so, so pretty. Oh, also from the SAC sale, I picked up the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in 001. This is very reminiscent of the two that were released in Glowing Gardens. This color, um, when Tamtali reviewed it, she said it was very similar to the one, or she said she thinks it's a re-release of the one that came out in that collection. I swatched the two next to each other. Mm -mm. Glowing Nude, which is the warmer of the two that were released, is still cooler compared to this. Um, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a video of new products. This is like limited edition new, so good. If I had to pick between all of them, I would pick this one, because it's warmer for my skin tone. Um, oh, beauty.com. Oh my god, what's a big mess? Walgreens is getting rid of them. I don't know. Or Walgreens, yeah, getting rid of them. So they were doing 20% off. I picked up two eye pencils from my mother and I picked up these cream shadows from Butter London. And I have this one on the lid today. It's really pretty. Oh, you can't even see it right now because cause light. Um, but the thing is, they look kind of yuck. But you get them on your you have to use your fingers. You get them on your lid. They're crazy, crazy pigmented, and then they do not budge. They do not move. So the only issue is like I don't like using my fingers because like it gets it gets everywhere and it sets everywhere. Like not everywhere, but you know what I mean? Like it sets, so I have to get something separate to um remove it. So like I'm already like sitting here knowing what I have to do after this video is done. I'm gonna have to like really get rid of it. So that was bronzed. This one is called Oil Slick. Again, like, it's just not very, like, I don't know, it's not very, oh, I probably got too much. This one is, there's Oil Slick. I mean, what? I'm really debating. I don't know if I should keep these or not. I got them for 20% off, no tax. They were, like, $19. They're really stunning. Like, like when you want to create an eye, this is the one. I might keep them. I mean, I don't know. When I get cream products and I'm very like iffy about it, I always return them because cream products just don't last. Cream or like more liquidy products, if I'm iffy about it, like maybe I like, maybe I don't, I always return it because it's not gonna last as long as say a powder where like I could rediscover it and maybe love it later, you know what I'm saying? And then, 
So this is some PR. This is the Love Your Selfie 2 from Pure Cosmetics. I love Pure Cosmetics. I know every time I talk about one of their products, I'm like, oh, I have to do a video, I have to do a video. I really do have to do a video. <laughs> Woo! Okay, the eyeshadows, the shades are all beautiful. Bronzer, beautiful. You have this powder that I think is kind of like a setting powder, which also works great. This is the highlight. It's, eh. Well, I mean, it's peachy, so it's more of a summer highlight, so it's a fall as a fall palette, it's, you know, I'm a little confused by that, but, and then these two, Headshot and Pose, these two are like the most beautiful eyebrow, like finishing under the eyebrow kind of powder. There's a mascara in there that I'm probably not going to touch because, you know, but this, this is a Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Focal Point. Oh my god. I can't wait to wear these lip colors. That's the pencil. And this gloss is called Silhouette. It's so pretty. Like they are like made for each other, which I guess is why they're in this. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. So I've used the eyeshadows and I like them, but I feel like the, the shimmery colors are really good. The kind of more matte shades for, I guess for the under the brow bone, it doesn't matter so much, but uh, the more matte shades, they kind of blend, like they don't, they look good and then they kind of blend away. So we'll have to play with the palette a little more. And Because I'm someone that uses an eye primer and then I also use a colored base. So things should be staying and looking real good. Lastly, Jolie Cosmetics was doing, oh, oof. Um, this is a little heavy. Do you guys see this? This is something I picked up during the, it's not heavy. Actually, I've been sleeping with my earring in up here. So it's like a little sore. So I'm sure it's not the earring. I'm sure it's me being stupid. But this is the earrings I picked up like I got these these this is the silver one and there's like a gold set and they're from Nadri and I picked them up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale so you, I obviously they come in a set so you can wear them down here but I'm like oh maybe I'll put that one up here today because it looks pretty cute Jolie Cosmetics I have the shades Sucosa and Scuro they're coming out with new shades so my deal with liquid lipsticks is that I don't really like them except for these 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 and Jeffree Star oh so I already have Dolceza and Tara here's Sucosa and Scuro oh my god they're just the formula of these is so amazing and I just bought more and if they come out with more shades the ones that I like I'll definitely pick up because I just think this formula is so good and you can mix colors together and they just stay all day if I want an all day like bold lip this is what I would use Okay, um, what's going on? All right, oh, see, yeah, they are constantly forever mowing the lawns here, which is totally awesome. Uh, okay, so, I had a day last night. It was good, as usual. Um, I'm still burnt out, though. I'm just, like, saying that means I should not be going out, but... It's like I want to I want to be like YOLO, which we don't say that anymore, but really, like, might as well, right? So there's that, and I think there might be a couple more before the week is over, but they're tentative, and... Today is... What does they say? Thursday. Uh, Tracy is coming over... Well, she was here Tuesday. Actually, we went to... Have you guys ever heard of Famous Dave's? I've never been there before, but she went... We were, like, looking for some place to eat, and... She's like, I've never been there before. So we go. First of all, the margaritas were awesome. We had, I think we had way too much fun afterwards. But I'd never been there before. So they brought out, the waitress was like, okay, since you've never been here before, we're gonna give you these fries to try with all of our sauces. There were two sauces that were so super amazing. I think one was rich and sassy, and the other one that I really liked was like something devil. It was basically, it tasted like black peppers like black peppercorn like oh it was so awesome like I love black pepper like <laughs> I will put black pepper a shit ton of black pepper on everything I think it you can never have enough of it the only problem with being someone that loves black pepper like that is um I always feel like there's black pepper in my teeth like always like when I'm eating so sometimes I'll avoid it if I'm out Ooh. jogger Shh. And, um, oh, 
Okay, so, all right, here we go, losing our train of thought again. So, so she brought the fries out and that was nice. And then at the end, the manager comes out and he's like, oh, you know, how was your meal? I know you've never been here before. Come back, here's a coupon for some free food. I was like, this is some nice people, yeah? So that was really sweet. So, I mean, I don't know if I really like their food so much, the staff was amazing there like everyone was so nice and then we might just go back for their margaritas it was happy hour they oh, they were so good i want to share this gloss with you guys um it's from ColourPop, and it's called my jam do we not love this isn't it beautiful i have some max strip down on all over but this I never thought I would like like metallic type shades, but this one is so good. I think it was on sale. I got a whole bunch of glosses and churro, <clears throat> the highlighter. I feel like I haven't talked yet. Clearly I have not spoken yet. Also, I got all these like brands of stuff. Oh my God, get yourself together. Like Davina Cosmetics, Luxy Beauty. Just really, really pretty. I'm gonna, maybe I'll do it during like a fall eyeshadows video because I basically picked up a whole bunch of purples and burgundies and stuff like that. I have one on my lid today. I don't know if you can see how yeah, you can. It's so pretty. It has really, really pretty dimension and lower lash line and I've been picking up really fun stuff off of Amazon in terms of Korean beauty because I've started watching Pony makeup. Oh my god. Learning so much stuff from her. Like I can't wait to like tell you guys old interesting things. So the lip products you guys have seen, I still haven't photographed these yet, but I did get some face stuff because I told you guys I was going through all my concealers. So I got rid of a whole bunch of those and a lot of them I just buy to try out and then I just can't return them. Um, so I've used them like ugh, for like a few like a few times maybe and then just more stuff I'm literally going through my collection in a way where I'm using something different every day Like every day I'll just use a different bronzer and see if I like really really love it and then, or and then I'll like get rid of it If I don't and I'll keep it if I do and like just same with eyeshadow palettes Like I'll do a look with it if I if even if it's like really beautiful If I already have a different palette that I can create the exact same look I pretty much will just get rid of a lot of stuff like you know, like, and even backups. I have this, like, NARS Lola Lola, which I love. And I picked up a backup because I got, like, a good price on it. But I'm like, what am I doing with the backup of this? So, yes. I'm supposed to go to the zoo on Sunday, but I was taking my pill today. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm getting my period that day. So I'll feel like I'm dying, which not the best time to go into the zoo. And it's supposed to rain. So I don't know about that. But, uh... I have to cancel oh also I went to the rail last night it's an Ohio like an Ohio restaurant so good truffle fries mac and cheese a like gouda bites burger everything I'm going a Nutella crunch shake everything there is phenomenal so if you are in Ohio find one and go to it because it's delicious it's so I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.